this is Whiskey Wednesday Weekly. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, season 2, Episode 2, or if you call it Episode 11 of the whole season. Yeah. Uh, you may recognize this young lady here next to me. Her name is Tammy Stryler. She was Episode 2. Um, Tammy and I had the uh, pleasure to shoot the video together, and um, she actually had mentioned that she would possibly interview me. So because she has her own podcast, uh, I think it's Pour Your Ed Out, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, she decided that um, with her little bit of experience that she's doing, and she's killing it right now with her podcast, that she had no problem asking me the questions. So I know a lot of people have asked me uh, on camera and behind the scenes to do my own video just to get a little bit of understanding who I am. So uh, we're going to do it a little bit different. If you didn't notice, she's on the uh, typical side. I know, I'm, I'm on, on the interviewer's <laughs> side. I'm a little nervous, but yeah, hey, yeah, got yeah. this. Got we'll this. let it flow. We'll let it flow. <laughs> um, but uh, so anyway, thank you so much for agreeing to do it. Um, it's You're certainly welcome. it's weird. I was talking to the people. I was talking to her. Excuse me before we started, and I was like. I feel weird. Like I feel how under pressure the guys who were getting interviewed were. You know, it's now you know. The, yeah, now you know what they're the one feeling. Delivering the questions, yeah. I thought that was the hard part. But actually, knowing where is this going to go, what are mm -hmm. we going to talk about? So uh, again, thank you so much, and uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, so tonight, uh, I will have the Moscow Mule. Uh, use Jack, and she's just going to be doing a little bit of Jack Daniels and bubbly water, right? Nice. Yeah, yes. watermelon, I mm -hmm. believe it is, or cherry. Excuse me. Uh, and then Perfect. a friend of mine said that uh, we're actually going to be using unsalted crackers in between our shots, just kind of to kill the, the taste in the between. The whole thing, I mean, uh, we do that with wine, but yeah. I had never thought about it for yeah. whiskey to and someone change had mentioned palate. That. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, cool, I'll put them on yeah. there because that might help our palate in between shots because sure. as we always do, we do quite a few. Um, so from this point on, uh, other than the first shot uh, I'm going to actually do right mm -hmm. now, um, we will start a shot. I'll be pouring them. I'll still have the timer of control of when we drink. That's good because I'll, I will lose it <laughs> right. somewhere by the third shot. So it's good uh, so that you're... that being said, do you want to start off with sweet? Sure. Okay. That might be a good way to start. <laughs> so this bottle here is called Cooper's Mark. It was on my veterans episode with Sean and Corey. And as actually it was Corey's favorite just because he doesn't do whiskey. So he certainly loved the sweetness. Okay. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, it's a really good episode. Those and for guys me, cracked it's... me up. Yeah, this is... Uh... I don't do a lot of shots. You'll probably remember that from my <laughs> last episode. So we'll see how it goes. I don't. I don't I think, think I'm pouring them one. as much. I as think can. you'll really like this one. Okay. So you're gonna have this, right? I wonder if I've had this one. And I'm gonna try to give a little bit more hint on the the whiskeys. Uh, obviously, I'm not a connoisseur. I'm not gonna give you the oak and all that stuff. That's not what this show's about. It's about drinking and having fun. It does fun. smell really uh, sweet and kind oh, of a love smooth. It. Yeah, you're gonna you love know? it. Here we go. All right. Mmm, that is really good. I told you it would be. I have to say, I like it. Yeah. So I'm setting the timer now for the next shot, which is a few minutes away. That was a little bit quick. Do um, I get my little palette? Of course. Yes. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh-huh. Now, I will say the good thing about that uh, whiskey is it's not as strong either. Yeah. So okay. it's a good starter. What's the alcohol? It's 70 proof, so okay. it's 35% alcohol. Okay. But it's really good, huh? I mean, if you remember, that was really good. <laughs> it's so funny, guys, because funny enough, and I'm not going to take the show. She's going to start right now. But what's funny is if you remember her episode, episode two, you got to watch it if you haven't. She doesn't do whiskey, but now I think it's been about two months. <laughs> I know. I'm she kind somehow of converted into whiskey. I know. I kind of like it. I <laughs> She's don't like, know. I'm into it now. Her husband loves it, and uh, you know he supports it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh yeah. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Tammy. Well, uh, take over. It's your shot. Your wow, show. this is exciting. I first of all, I mean, look at this beautiful setting that we're in. I mean, come on. I mean, what you have built here, Ken, <laughs> oh, is. Thank you for your family and you and you and Mila have built this amazing place mm. and you know you what I love about this this podcast is that you know you get to you get to really know people and you know at surface level you you just see all this all that you built but it wasn't easy yeah, to get yeah. to here mm. and well, that's for sure. I don't know your whole story but I know a lot of it I yeah. know little bits and pieces kind of like with me where right. you knew little bits and right, pieces right, right. and mm -hmm kind of filling in those uh, those gaps. The with deeper gaps, the deep, right? Yeah, <laughs> deeper, going a little bit deeper. Yeah. And I think um, people can get so much out of your story mm -hmm. on, you know, just it wasn't easy and things were not handed to you oh, on a silver sure. platter mm -hmm. growing up mm -hmm. and how you kind of persevered and got to this place mm -hmm. with your family mm -hmm. and it's it's amazing yeah you know yeah. Well, what, you. what you have done thank you i, I mean i'm always that. impressed <laughs> you know and what you and mila have have built here so mm -hmm. um so yeah i mean so we got to just dive in here okay, well first i just want to say so we've known um the boons our kids i think 
We've Boyer already talked Bull. about this, but mm-hmm. they did T-ball together, and Ken was the coach, mm-hmm. and that's kind of how we got to know them. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank God you're not going to bring that up. <laughs> and now they're 18. Those kids yeah, are now 18, yeah, sure. so we've known them for a long time, and um, it's just been a great journey <laughs> with you guys raising kids and yeah. things. So, yeah, so let's just jump in. Okay. And, and, you know, your background and your your childhood there's, okay. i know there was a lot there yeah, yeah. for you we can start off with a basic kind of background yeah, at first yeah. and you can kind of figure it out from there yeah um but ultimately you know uh my mom her episode's up so you know if you haven't watched it i'm from a small town in eastern maryland which isn't so small anymore but back in 1971 when i was born um it was small um very very bicycle friendly yeah. you know skateboard everyone's house go talk to everybody you know you're you're kind of in that small town feel yep. uh redneck actually i mean to be honest that's <laughs> what the town was uh the cruising you know on a friday right. in a small little bowl area where everyone you wanted to be the cool kid at 12 years old to pick up you know and go ride with your big sister or something like that with her boyfriend and just look cool you know right. um, that's and you know said you didn't have a lot of money growing you know oh, that's gosh, that yes. farming uh, I don't even know what we were about because I was just a kid, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we definitely did not come from a lot of money. Um, see, let's see. My parents, uh, my first um, father, my my father uh, was born at. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. We, they got divorced when I was eight years old, so that was a little tough time. But honestly, my father never really. Me and him always had a great relationship. I know my mom brought up some stuff on her episode that it was a little rocky here and there, but I don't remember those parts. Because right. when you're young, yeah, I know. you either you... choose to remember the good stuff or you're too young to remember yeah. the bad yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. You uh, choose to block it out. But I will say, uh, which is weird, that we actually, like Alex, where he was more of an army brat moving mm-hmm. around, because we didn't have money, we would actually like kind of run the leases out right. and not pay rent, and they'd kick us out. So uh, by the time I was eight years old, I was in five homes. Oh, wow. Five That's, homes. Even though it was yeah. in the same town, yeah. you still have the same friends going to school, but you kind of get used to the community. And it's just a weird dynamic, you right. know, when you're eight years old and you've lived in five homes. You don't really get that sense of establishment or home like like Alex talked yep. about. Yep. Uh, so that was a, a unique part of my story. And then obviously uh, my mom kind of even though she was married for eight years while i was like bored i didn't realize that i was wondered where was my dad a lot of times why were we considered a single mom sometimes that's because they split up a lot they right. separated a lot so, so they kind of yeah would split and then come back yeah, together yeah. kind of that yo-yo thing because i was always and, like why did i always yeah. see my dad like yeah. why is he not there looking back you kind of realize that that's how it was. They split up a lot. They separated a lot. You can like look back as an adult yeah. and have a different perspective. Right. Because you're right. When you're eight, you, you yeah. don't have that perspective. You no. don't understand it. Yeah. And, I mean, he, yeah. we had great memories with him, right. you know, in the snow. But then I was always like, where was he? He didn't like travel. He just right. worked a regular. It's because he wasn't there. So my mom yeah. went through a lot as a single mom, even though she was married. Um, it was kind of like there was a lot of single mom moments in there. Uh, and then obviously from there, she uh, remarried and my stepfather. There's really not a lot of bad memories with my childhood other than right. when I did, you know, go into that stepfather role. Being a stepson is kind of hard. Um, if anyone's out there and is a stepson, I know it's not easy, but just love the father and, you know. How old that were you when um, your mom married It was just shortly like a year later. So like nine-ish? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and at that point on, I kind of went from this kid who I guess didn't really, you know, just, but to the kid it was get gonna get hard real quick I didn't know it uh, he was more of an iron fist kind of guy you know like farmer background mentality right. had an old school right. dad you know belt you know for punishment that kind of thing not that my dad wasn't strict but again he, like I said he wasn't always there and my mom did the best she could you know um, so latchkey kid kind of situation right never really had the stay home parents or anything um, and so when I met Mike um, things kind of changed especially when he they got married and he became my true stepfather right. Um, so he did have his moments where it was super hard. Um, you know, I'm not going to lie. It was definitely some ugly times. Um, but he was still a good guy behind the scenes. I mean, really, we had a lot of laughing moments, food fights, you know, just good stuff. Right, right. But he was still your typical, you know, like working on his uh, motorcycle in the, in the kitchen, you know, <laughs> like with a grease pan and, and, and starting it up in a small house, wow, that's, firing that's, it up yeah, to that's... work on it. It, it's a, it's a, it was a weird dynamic, but nonetheless... <laughs> Um, that's kind of where we were at that point. Right. Um, then there's some other stories that I've obviously we'll get into. Um, but right now, my timer went off. So uh, as I'm much excited. as we love, as much as we <laughs> love that good old fashioned, um, what was that maple syrup or whatever? Yeah. Let's get into something a little harder. All right, let's do this. Okay. So this one is uh, Mia Mila, my wife. She actually picked this one out, thinking 
because it's Dewar's Caribbean Smooth Rum Cask. So even though it's a whiskey, it was fermented in a rum cask. Wow. So you'd think you'd pull out that really good rum feeling and taste. Yeah. Um, I won't tell you what my wife thought, but let's just say it's still full for a reason. Uh, she did not love, and it did not pull out the rum And the fact flavor. that it's, okay, so it's not a rum, it's a whiskey. Correct. Because there is a rum that we used to drink here back in the day that was banned Which from my that? house. Wasn't oh, from sailor, your house. Wasn't it Sailor Jerry's rum? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, my, yeah, we had, yeah, we won't go there, but yeah, yeah it was yeah, banned. Yeah, sailor yeah, J Jerry was banned. <laughs> that is 100% <laughs> true. So before whiskey, I was a huge rum guy. Yeah. I mean, my 40th birthday, I had like flowing rum, like yes. water fountain yes. of rum where yeah. you just stick your drink under and there was rum <laughs> flowing. Um, that's how big I was into rum. And yeah, Sailor Jerry, the, because it was 100 proof, yeah, and was. I think we drank it like it was normal. Probably. And it that was sounds just, like us. It was yeah. just a bad time. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was good times, but it was it also It was really like, fun <laughs> until it wasn't, yeah. and then it was like banned. It, we I'm went like, hard nope. there for a yeah, while. Yeah. Okay. So this is the Dewar's rum cask. Uh, I don't know the proof. I think it's standard proof. Yeah, it's standard, but it's aged eight years in a rum cask. Wow. So I, I think mm. the smell. Interesting, yeah. You smell the maple syrup still, because mm -hmm. <laughs> I promise you that is not what right, it's going right. to taste okay, like. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Uh, uh, Ooh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That will definitely get you. Ooh. No offense to doers, but it definitely should be mixed with ginger ale. Oh my God. Yes. That, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I think, I think this, my esophagus says there might be some burning going on. I don't know. There's some skin yeah, After missing. the show, you might need to take me to urgent care, but <laughs> we're good. I'm fine. Fine. There's some skin yeah, missing mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, that was. <laughs> you might that have was, some water. Woo. We actually have yeah, water bottles. Yeah, we a little water here. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. It is a Saturday. We're filming this on oh, Saturday. Oh yeah, it's a Saturday, so, so I was we're like, not this really is perfect. worried about water, but yeah. it's probably a good idea because we haven't yeah. had dinner yet either. Oh, correct. Yeah. So go okay, for so it. I did my palate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. It was yeah, good. Perfect. It does help. Yeah. I think it does because you. I could definitely t distinguish yes. the the flavors. And so. it also just absorbed that flavor, which is a good thing. I don't want that. It's good that we're eating. So even just a cracker. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we left off, you're about what, 10, 9, 10? Somewhere in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. stepdad. Mm -hmm. um, yep. uh, at what point, how old were you when um, your other, your sister was born? I was 12. Your stepdad. I okay, was 12. so 12. Yeah, so All I right. had a baby sister. Yep. Um, and what's interesting is uh, I actually, unlike most people, uh, in a small town back then, you could work not legally so much, but you could go out and someone would hire you for. That you was know. the good old days. Yeah. There weren't yeah. all these like. Yeah, like work for Child yeah, safety yeah, exactly. laws. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. You can just go do your thing, you know? Yeah, so uh, the story I have is my mom told me um, when I was a little guy, you know, I always wanted the best clothes and all that right. stuff. Just because, you know, you're in school. There's pressure, right? right? So she's like, I don't know if you guys know, but Dollar General is like shopping at Dollar Tree, except with jeans and shoes. <laughs> okay, so when I grew up, like that was what I was getting. And so I wanted Jordans and, and all the nicer stuff. And even then, like I said, this is 70, probably 81 now, yeah. 82. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want that because I know what that brings in school. So therefore, I went and she said, well, if you, honey, you go and get a job. Like, right. I'm not telling you to. I'm just telling you if you want if that. If you want, it's yeah. Certainly if you want this, come these from things, me. Right. yeah. She's yeah. working at like a plant, you know. And right. again, this is now uh, Mike, who's my stepfather, but he's also not yet. And he also right. doesn't have financial responsibility of us. He's, you know, they're right. dating still at right. the time. So I go get a job. Um, so in all honesty, I have not stopped working since I was 11 years old. Yeah. There is not one second other than school or whatever, but I've always had a job. It went from 11 then to 12 as a dishwasher in like a restaurant, okay. and 12 to 13 as a busboy, 13, 14 as a busboy. Uh, worked my way up into the kitchen. At 14 years old, I was, I was running a steakhouse. At 14 years old, Jeez. I was running a full-on <laughs> grill. Like, that's we're crazy. talking steaks, I mean, potatoes. Like, wait, so were you that when you say run it, was it like... You I wasn't were, the manager. You were the, you were the manager. I was the, no, so, I wasn't no, the oh, manager. Oh, you were the manager, but you were... I was the guy, though. The guy. Like, they're like, wow. you come in at 5, you're That's running awesome. the dinner shift till 14. 9. I was Jeez. I was throwing the grill around. Now, I know that, you know, we don't talk about it, but the, t the Strylers do come over, and I cook. I mean, yeah. that's just the thing. It's not that I don't like to cook. I love to cook. That's the whole thing. It kind of right. started a passion in me. Right. I loved the speed, the the heat. I loved right. it. You know, it didn't matter how hot it was. I went to the hospital. I burnt my, I still have a scar today from a hot potato pan of, it was like a right. steakhouse. So you had yeah. like, it was a golden corral. 
which I think is still around uh, some places. But it's a big, you know, just Maybe East Coast medium thing. rare yeah. ribeye, yeah. you know, potatoes, the whole, you know, big meal, sit down and have it. And I was 14 years old. I can't old. believe, like, how, I mean, the owner, you know, I got this 14-year-old. Yeah. I'm gonna, But you know what? But that says a lot, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I mean, it was fun. you're yeah. obviously were working hard, and the guy obviously noticed that and yeah, recognized yeah. that that's and was like, you know. But, uh, yeah, so, and, and um, that's kind of how it went. So I just realized that if I wanted something for myself. Yeah. You I had, had to, you to, had to make to that provide happen. It. Yeah. Right. And it wasn't any fault of my mom's. This is not about my mom not being a good provider. It's just the reality of the well, situation. Well, because she was worried about, get, I need to get food on the table. Correct. And you, you know, like she said, if you want to get the Jordan shoes. The, the then, stuff above food and yeah, water. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ab yeah, above your basic needs. Right, right, you're, yeah. 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 You're on we it. were certainly um, not poverty, but we were close. I mean, you yeah. know, it was there were some times that I ate. I always ate, but yeah. it might have just been peanut butter and jelly. Right. So again, it's not right. the lack of love or la that was the one thing I can tell you that was always there. My mom always loved me. I was a mama's boy uh, until I, you know, I think Mike, it, Mike still is. <laughs> until Mike kind of put me into mom. shape. Yeah. Um, but no, it was it was a good time yeah. for sure. Yeah. I mean, it, it was just the part of the story that I really want to get to is. That little bit of time, even though from from 11 to 16, 17, um, when I was in high school and working never nonstop, I realized that that was the only way you're going to make it. Yeah. Whether it's school yeah. or hard work, you can never yeah. really rest on your loyals unless you were yes. gifted money. Yeah. And very, very small percentage are ever gifted that much money to not do anything. Right. So I think work kind of builds a sense of pride. Kind of, uh, you know, your husband is extremely... Um, you know, believes in that. Whether he, you know, his kids are all intelligent and drive hard, but Cole's story just shows that, you know, hard work and determination really pay off. They do. For sure. And, you know, Ken and I were talking, um, you know, a little bit before the podcast in terms of um, it is about hard work. It, it, you know, there, you know, Ken's going to probably go on and tell, you know, he, did, he didn't necessarily go to college, but has worked his butt off, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. his whole life and right. has, made it and i think that's so important for you know our youth mm -hmm. and everybody to to understand it it's if you're passionate and you're right. working hard and you you can make it happen right um you know you could go to college and do nothing with it yeah you know yeah. i mean People it, it don't doesn't even necessarily mean study their degree yeah sometimes. i mean yeah. so i it's, it's really important to yeah. to tell that part of the story too and right. um for kids out there that you know if college isn't for them i'm I'm not saying don't go to college, yeah, but I'm just saying yeah. it's just if you work hard and you have that passion. Whether it can, it's through school or not. Yeah. Because I mean, honestly, you still yeah. have to work hard in right. school. I mean, exactly. Lord, like Whatever said, it is, yeah. you got to work hard. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can do amazing things. Yeah. You know? Well, the good, good thing is um, we're going to work hard to another shot. <laughs> Um, because Woo! that is actually about to happen now. Woo! Okay. The next one you haven't had, like none of these, I don't think okay. you've had. Yeah. Except maybe, nope. maybe the. Uh, I think fifth I've one. tried yeah, that yeah, yeah. one, but yeah. Uh, so this one again, my <laughs> I bring up my wife a lot because she supports my whiskey habit. <laughs> um, so it's very important <laughs> yes. to have her like the whiskey. Yeah, absolutely. But this is happy actually happy wife, happy life. Absolutely. So this is her probably her favorite until the last one came about. Okay just a week ago okay. okay so I'll bring that one up later but she loves the 70 1792 small batch uh, it's just 1792 it is actually one of my favorites it's really good over ice um, you know we typically just if we're gonna have a something it's just one cube in right. a glass a right. um, little bit of you know maybe 30 seconds to let that marinate a little bit but it's just a really really now you may not mm. love it I don't know if you know I smell a lot of like maple in this one do you is there I still think it's the maple from the first shot, <laughs> is what I'm saying. It could be, okay. But I will tell you but that this whiskey is going to be super good. Okay, yeah, it's I'm very, excited. Very good. Okay, yeah, cheers. It's cheers. Very good. There's a little bit of a heat to it, though. Wait for it, wait for it. It's and definitely then it, not bad, though. Yeah, no, this one, yeah, this was smoother than, than this one, the second of one. Of course. There's not much not sm smoother than doers. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I but love that's it. Good, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to start my new timer. Oh, start the timer, so we. That's perfect, though. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. we got to keep going. I know, right? Uh -huh. So. Okay, so where are we at right now? How old are you about? Well, we're the good. Left off about. No, oh, no, you're talking about the, the high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, right? and I actually wanted to go on to this next part, just because even though I'm not controlling the interview, I, because she's a teacher, I wanted to take a second to. Uh, uh oh. Um. <laughs> 
I wanted to just take a second. That's my air conditioning. Um, <laughs> we're going with we're it. Going we're going with, with it. it. It's probably not air that loud, but it's probably I don't know. Yeah, we can hear it. it. I don't know if you can hear it. But. So ultimately, yeah. what I'd like to say, though, is that there was a teacher in my uh, high school. I was a high school wrestling. Uh, I wrestled for two years, my uh, freshman and sophomore year. A little soft spot for the wrestlers. For then sure. I played lacrosse in my junior and senior year. Right. Um, so... What I'm trying to bring out is the teacher that I love the most and really changed my life. His name is Nick Greenhawk. Uh, maybe it's not Nick, but it was Mr. Greenhawk. I knew that part. Right. Um, Mr. Greenhawk was an art teacher, okay? Skinny. I mean, we're talking, couldn't work, like, didn't lift a oh, finger, yeah. you know? <laughs> Artist, super skinny guy, but I swear to God, don't mess with that guy. Yeah. He okay. would push you. He, he would wear right, your right, ass right. out. Here I am, 96 pounds. <laughs> what? Yeah. No. Oh. I think it was 90. No, I'm sorry. I, I was 86 it. pounds. 80. I'm not Wait, joking. Wait, how old were you? Like, I was this? a freshman in high school. Oh, my gosh. Kid. 86 pounds. Wow. Okay. Now, this 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 all goes kind of into the whole work ethic thing. Okay. That's why I'm bringing right. it up. Not only is he a great teacher and a great motivator and a great coach, I was 86 pounds as a freshman in high school, and he, I got a varsity letter. Now, it wasn't because I wrestled varsity, because I couldn't make weight. You actually had yeah, to weigh. Yeah, I was going to say, you were the opposite, probably. Right. You were probably two under. Yes. About... I actually had to gain weight, and oh I gosh. ate cheeseburgers. <laughs> and believe me, I've never starved at my house. I mean, my son now still wonders, like, how are we going to gain weight? I'm like, right. you have got to do a ton when you have a metabolism right. like mine. Right. So not only would I go and burn thousands of calories at this insane practice, I also just, could, before that, I couldn't gain weight, right? Right, right? So I'm eating cheeseburgers and everything possible. Oh, I so wish I could do that right now. <laughs> oh, God. But the best part was I got like two or three matches. I was able to yeah. get to like 91 pounds. So I gained five pounds just so I could wrestle. And, you know, I lost like a couple. I, it wasn't right. about the wrestling as right. a freshman. It yeah. was about the camaraderie. And, yes. and honestly, yes. I still have a yearbook picture today that I have in my mind uh, that all the, the senior wrestlers in the varsity, they picked me up over their head and they put on there that I was the the motivator. Because oh, they it. drew from my me showing up to every practice and e not being even able to being wrestle. That because of my size. Yes, that's going to be in the little... Yeah. Yeah, at that and time. And I wrestled the guy that was like 215 in practice yeah. just to get my ass kicked. Yeah. Just to prove that I was... I'd right. still come around and Love lock it. your legs up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that that was my internal drive. And yeah. I still have that today. But I wanted to just point out that teachers are critical. And I know you as a teacher, you can change someone's life. And I think not just wrestling, but the way he pushed me yeah. at such a skinny... Yeah, because he could be a coach. I mean... Yeah, it, I mean, you could... Yeah. A, co so a teacher... Well, he was my art teacher. He yeah. was my art teacher. Yeah, art teacher coach. and coach, yeah. But the fact that he told me to sign up for wrestling, thats and then he drove me to it because he right. was a skinny kid, too. You see what I'm so saying? He, yeah, so he had that so connection. He kind of like, He's like, I see you. And he got I, me. I mean, yeah. honestly, everyone. It's like the Rudy movie. I was the little kid who never made varsity that first year. Yeah. I, I wrestled varsity the second year because I gained weight. But he actually gave me a senior a varsity letter that year, and the whole team oh like, agreed on that, it. Like, they voted that's on like, it. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. It Give wasn't him. Yes. Everyone was like, absolutely, yeah. Ken deserves it. He would show up to practice, yeah. fight, 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 and never get to wrestle because yeah. he couldn't make weight. So I want to point that out. That was a huge part of my life that even before I had those things instilled, obviously, it kind of just propelled me even yeah. after that to realize that there's just so many great people out there. Yeah. And, and it does take an internal burn. It yeah. does take something inside someone, but I think we all have it. I just yeah. don't think everyone uses it is what I was trying to say. And so kind of piggybacking on what Ken is saying. So um, in my podcast, when I interview teachers mm -hmm. and we kind of pull that out, you yeah. know, one of the questions I ask is who made that difference in your life as a teacher? And um, it just the stories are amazing. And, and that's kind of where I tap yeah. into. It's like, be that teacher, be that person who, who, who Makes that difference. Years later, I mean, yeah, well, you're, 40, you're, like you're talking years about later. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And as a teacher, you have that that ability to, even if it's just one one person, right? You know that that will be talking about it forty years later. Yeah. That you yeah. then you did your job, you right. know, As a teacher, because and you or left the legacy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. or any adult really. But um, but I do want to do a little quick squirrel because um. So oh, my like so a little squirrel yeah. yeah so um my family of course are wrestlers and you know my dad and my brother and um and then two of my sons have also wrestled so 
and I think you got into it with Cole about mm -hmm. yeah. them how we'd wrestle. Wrestling. Yeah. And everyone was probably like, he was like yeah. 15 or 16. Why are you wrestling a grown man? It was no, just he was like 12. It was, well, I, don't yeah, even think, yeah. I mean, it was great. But when he was in wrestling, it wrestling was in high school. Great. Right, yeah. No, yeah, before he yeah. got into high school, you yeah. guys started at like oh, 12, yeah. and yeah. then with Cole. It was great. It was fun, I yeah. loved it. Yeah. It was and so, so good. And so did Cole. Like I said, he so kind of got off good. on her, or else he would have challenged me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was his personality, and that's yes. why I kind of like, I kind of relate to Cole a little bit because yes. he has that. He had that same kind of determination, yes, you know, like yes. challenge people and just be like, "Yeah, I know." I'll that kick your bit. ass, yeah, even though I'm really like, not okay, going to. Yeah. <laughs> I always <laughs> loved no him. possible way. I'd yeah. always be like, "All right, you guys do your wrestling thing. I'm gonna go yeah. over here and yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. have a glass of wine or something." Yeah, but um, but, but yeah, yeah, that's great, Ken. That's a good story. And there are so many stories. I mean, I feel mm -hmm. like you know, now that I'm on the spot, you know, there's certain ones you just aren't getting to or whatever. But um, you know, I, I will say. In, in a small town, I feel like my relationships were critical. But I truly had a handful of, of great friends, and I'll name them, but yeah. I don't want to leave anyone out. So, yeah. Maddie Tall, uh, Kenny Knopp, uh, Chris Bailiff, Cecil Bischoff. Um, Are you still in touch with, with these yeah, people Floyd right now? Waters. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We, we call them, you know, we, we chat, we check in, you know. Yeah. Um, we were the kind of kids that you would just go skateboard, and we'd stay the night. We tell our parents we're going somewhere and we'd stay like just under some skate ramps. I'm like, we weren't we weren't causing Again, trouble. Again, the good old days. We weren't right? causing trouble. Right. We were just like we just want to stay and be our own people. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And before I get into the next story, um, speaking of being your own person, I think we need another shot. Sounds good to me. Doesn't it seem like it goes fast? God, it does. It, it, does. Really, it does. really does. It really really goes and fast. And the good thing about the timer on the shots is that it keeps me accountable. To I'm glad my that time. you do the timer because yeah. we could. I I would just keep talking. And <laughs> she would what? squirrel off. Uh, oh yeah, I would squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah. No, okay. All right. Now, what do we got? I have no idea what this one is. I I mean, obviously, other it's called larceny. Um, I've just picked it up today. Okay. I've not. I've seen it. I'm I'm a part of like a Facebook group, right. whiskey people, right. and I've seen people just go. Trying this tonight. Okay. I'm, I saw it. Look good. It's strong. I'm in. It's 92 proof, so it's on the little bit higher side. And just what I needed. <laughs> and again, it's from Kentucky, so I'm a big bourbon fan. If anyone hasn't realized, just tell me when to stop. Okay. It's like the pepper at the restaurants where you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. how much pepper yeah, how much do you pepper want? Do you and want? I'm always yeah. like, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And then the, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, Wait. It smells good. I mean, okay. how how long can you go with bourbon from Kentucky? I don't know. I don't think you can go wrong. Hmm, that was good to me. Woo! I mean, that <laughs> has a kick. That's good, though. Actually, but it tastes that's good. Yeah, pretty you're just smooth. saying it's got a kick. Yeah. I know you guys are noticing. I can't do the whole shot at once. Yeah. But what I like to do is the first, the first taste. Yeah, you like I, to taste it. I like yeah. to taste it. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's my, you know. That's her claim maybe, to fame. That's my claim to fame. <laughs> not, no. That just means I can't do a full right, shot. Right. Right. Okay. Here we go. All right. Yeah. That was pretty good. Good. Yeah. Good. So I do want to get into one story. Oh, I got to start. Yeah, yeah shut your timer. Now, even though Tammy's controlling the interview, I just want you to know that she's, we've kind of prepped this, so she knew, kind of knows where we're going to go a little bit with it. But there are certain memories that I told her I want to bring up. So if they come up to me, I really want to bring up because they made a difference in my life. So I mentioned Mike, my stepfather. Yep. Was a little hard. Um, but there was this one time when hardness was important. Um, I went out with some kids, uh, 16, seven, no, I think I was 15 or 16. Um, I was not intending to be into anything. I was supposed to stay the night at a friend's house. I found out it was kind of a trick. They told them, I didn't know this, but they told them we were going to stay at my house. Oh, and then the, and I didn't know yeah. that. So now we're wandering the, old the switcheroo. streets. Yeah, yeah. But I wasn't a part of it. Right. Until gotcha. we went out and they said, Oh no, we're going to stay out all night and just walk the streets again small town streets right. aren't dangerous or anything but they just didn't want to go anywhere so i'm sitting there thinking okay one or two in the morning we had gone to a couple towns i don't know how we got there i think we hitchhiked or <laughs> that was pre-uber and all that you gotta hitchhike. yeah, yeah i mean whatever. again small okay. towns everyone small knew each town, other. yeah it wasn't like we hitchhiked with some stranger but we would go and swim mm -hmm. in other people's pools um you know just ransack their pools no no, right. no damage just hot let's jump in a pool uh we went on one person's boat and didn't go out in the water, but we went through that and got some food and don't know whose boat that was today. It may have been someone's they knew. I just don't know. Them. Um, then we go back into town and I find out they want to sleep. Um, we had no place to stay. So, like, it's getting cold. It's getting damp. It was, right. it was like, fall, but it wasn't I was freezing. Gonna say, I was going to say time of year. Okay, yeah, Maryland, fall, Maryland, I mean, you're fall East time. Coast, yeah. yeah. It's so, get cold. we break into a church. 
And break in, I mean, it's open. Because churches back there, you know, they want to leave people Yeah, people to go in right. and, yeah. So, and this is not a proud moment because I was just along for the ride. I truly was. And then later right. in the story, I'll try and sum it up real quick. Long story short, it, it wasn't pretty. They they kind of broke into some to get some food and some, some stuff like that. Um, but again, it wasn't like, it wasn't about that. Because when we got arrested, which we did because... Uh, they woke up this morning and we were on the floor just sleeping. And we were we didn't do anything. We just slept. Yeah. You know, we were just tired. Yeah. Um, but they were hungry, and so that's where the the breaking and entering came in. They just, you know, took some dinty more beef stew or something from the the cabinet. Yeah, so, I was gonna say yeah. But it's still the, breaking and yeah. entering yeah, if oh, you're yeah. sleeping there. Oh, yeah. and, you know, so it For wasn't sure. like we demolished a church or anything. It was just like sleeping there, and so the they called the cops. But everyone actually spoke up for me. Everyone said. Ken denied it the whole time. Like, did yeah, not he want did us to not, do yeah, it. He's he like, yeah. we should not be doing this. We should not be. Right. So they actually spoke up for me. I still got in trouble. But my stepfather, um, I had long hair at the time. I was a major skater. I mean, you know, like back in the day when your husband was talking, right. like right. Alba, all the Pal and Pearl, yeah. to all those things. That was my that was my goal. Yeah. I wanted to be a professional skater. I was on the East Coast. I wanted to get out to California, meet Tony Hawk, <laughs> all those things. Um, he He shaved my head off. Part of my punishment was he shaved my head off. Like he didn't do wow. it. He said you're so going to the like, barber. And again, I'm I'm a, I'm a kid, so of yeah, course you're I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? Like, fight do? Him? Yeah, I know. Um, so he shaved my head. He made me work for him all summer at a hardwood flooring place. And to be honest, you know what, Ken? I need some hardwood flooring done at my at my house. Can you? <laughs> that was a long time ago, <laughs> and he's passed away since. So I don't think either yeah. one are going to help you. Well, I'm not talking um, about you. Uh, but no, it was weird because. As much as I hated that experience at first, he actually, we got along better yeah, than we ever yeah. did that Usually summer. those are those defining moments, And that's what honestly, I wanted to bring it up yeah, for because the, usually those are. You've, got a, you've got a stepfather who's like, yeah. kind of like, or, you know, you're like stepfather, stepfather, stepson, stepson, and not getting together. And then you think something so miserable, Yeah. but yet that was a punishment summer. And guess what? I worked there the next summer yeah. out of yeah. my want. Because you want. wanted to, yes. Out of my that's want. Point, yeah. So I just want I to kind that. of bring that up because it's a, it's a tough time for people to realize that like not everything is easy, no. but you've got to be a stronger person yeah. to get through it because sometimes yeah. there's that there's that gold at the end of the rainbow that you don't see it at first, you know. But at the end, it, well, as parents, we're always we're always conflicted with that. Yeah. You know, you want to you know do the right thing for your child, right. and sometimes you have to be the bad guy. Of course, you can't always be the friend. You can't right. always be the friend, and you got to be the bad guy. And those are those moments right. and those lessons that mm -hmm. they learn and they take forward with them for right. their family. Right. You know, and I'm sure you have taken a lot of your lessons and applied them to you know Absolutely. your kids. Absolutely. Yeah. Both and of my fathers taught me a lot. One taught me how to be kind of frugal, which my wife doesn't appreciate <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Um, my, my, my original father, my, yeah. my actual birth father taught me how to be frugal right. and then my stepfather taught me how to be rigid and yeah. a little bit, you know, get yeah. shit done. Like yeah. just do it. You, gotta, you, know what you I'm got saying? it. Yeah. Just persevere um, and get it. Yeah. yeah. And, and punishment is not always a bad thing. Yeah. You know, like that was the thing because I feel like it set me straight in, yeah. in a sense. Scared straight. And that's our job will, as right? parents, right? right? Sometimes right. it's, it's, it doesn't feel good yeah. sometimes, yeah. but as a parent, you're, yeah. You know, you want to launch those kids off and, yeah. and hope that, you know, all those lessons that you yeah. taught them, they've internalized. And, and, the, and the sensitivity and the love part came from yeah. my mom. I mean, yeah. that's, that's. Oh, my so God, it was your like, mom. She's it was amazing. Like the mom part and the love yes. and, and yeah. like crying at AT&T commercials. You know? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, like, when you're yes. super sensitive yes. and you're like just sitting yes. back and you're like, why am I like welling up <laughs> over a stupid mother and father, you know, or some kind of commercial, you oh know, you get that sense. I love it. That's my mom. And then the hard, edgy stuff mm -hmm. came from my stepfather, and the and the kind of the frugalness yeah. came from my father. So yeah. I actually, looking back, it's, it's it's been a good experience and a good life. Yeah. Um, and thank God, pretty God, it's not over. Um, but uh, the next step, I think, before oh, we got a minute, so um, let me ask you something. Okay. So you brought up your father in your episode, and again, this yes. isn't reverse roles. I just have a minute, and I'm kind of don't want to start a new story. Yeah. Um, your father, Ken. So, yes. other than being a teacher, like, did what? What did he instill in you as far as other? Oh than my being gosh! A teacher? Oh my gosh! You amazing, got a minute. amazing man! I know. Yeah. In a minute. Ah, <laughs> Just ah, ah. But um, I think the biggest thing I could probably say about my dad yeah, like is teaching me what a man should, how he should treat his wife. Oh, okay. And so when I looked for a husband, oh, I think go. that was. Like I'm like welling up right now, but I, that's I what he taught that. me. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, to this is how you treat a just 
how he ch- treated Chase my mom. Joan, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's what I looked for in a husband. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you didn't get it, damn it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I always say that because no, Alex yeah, is no, Alex and I are listening, yeah, so no, but like, absolutely, you know, yeah. found it in Alex, yeah, and yeah. Um, I think that's probably the biggest thing he taught me. That's good. It's just, you know. And and, and I'm not going to bring up a shot, I'm just because that's an emotional moment, but that is a good point, because as much as your dad taught you that, and no offense to both fathers, because they're both great dads, we talked yeah. about what they taught yeah. me, I don't feel that they got that point across, it was more what how not to treat a woman right you see what i'm saying yeah and i still feel like sometimes i have those bad moments coming out okay i have a comment about that but we're gonna do a shot okay and when we come back okay. i have a little something to say about okay. that okay okay about you and mila okay okay <laughs> so but so we're, we're gonna, gonna okay. stay tuned because it's a good comment so okay. yes okay so we're gonna do a uh the one i also did as a bonus <laughs> shot so this was actually a bonus shot for the for, veterans episode. And, and not only veterans, but my dad loved Crown Royal. Oh, yeah. So that's no, why I, lo- I love that he had some Crown Royal but, in there. So. Uh, the veteran shot was the Crown Royal apple because my buddy uh, Corey goes, I, he was like way past six. He yeah. was drinking. He was like, bring me that, that Crown Royal apple. Like, we're off script. If you haven't seen it, it's, it, that episode still makes me laugh. I saw it four times and I was there. And I still <laughs> and watched still it. And you're still laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, it's just those two got me going so funny. But this actually surprised me because I actually said it was bad at first before I even tried it, uh, only because I thought apple. I'm not a huge apple guy. Oh, so but I swear so to God, it good, was very, very good. Yeah, it was. I don't know. So and, this would be the kind I would drink. And I what's mean. funny is in that episode there was straight crown, and I brought your father up. Yeah. And I said that the regular crown was surprisingly good. Yeah. Now I know I can't drink it. I know. Years, I, so know I know. I know. Right. That's the, the, you know, smooth. I mean, what are you going to do with this, right? It's just pretty much... Oh, my God. This... It's just a gimme. Stop it, you guys. Yeah, no, yeah. seriously. <laughs> That's like apple Seriously, steak. this is so smooth. I, no, you didn't see my leg go up. You didn't see <laughs> nothing. No, this no, is, no oh kick. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I do have a problem because uh, a lot of the uh, interviewees that have gone on have gone on to be alcoholics, so I apologize. <laughs> Um, because now they're hooked on whiskey. <laughs> Not literally alcoholics, but they enjoy whiskey way too much. Tammy, first of all, in the first episode, was like, uh, I don't do whiskey. Now, all of a sudden, two months later. I know. Now I'm like, bring it. Like, I want to do another episode. I want to do well, some, she, yeah. Not just that. We go over the house, and she's like, I know. I've kind of converted to whiskey. I know. Like, yeah. Oh, jeez, Louise. And we just built this huge wine cellar, so it's probably not a good thing. Wine no, is good, kidding. though. No, wine is good. Wine, wine is, is good. good. It's a good sipping thing. Yeah. So, what were okay, you saying? Okay, okay. So, you were talking about um, how just the, how to treat, uh, you know, I was talking about how, you know, when I was looking for my husband and, and um, using my dad as the model. And I know that, you know, you have different, you know, your background is very different than mine. Right. But um, my daughter, uh-huh. I'll bring her up. Lexi, sorry, I'm going to throw you into the bus. <laughs> but she, um, Ken and Mila were at our house, I don't know, a couple weeks ago and, and uh I, w- Mila told her side of how she met Ken, oh. and then Ken told his side of how she met how he met Mila, and it was really cute listening to both of them. But That's Lexi right. made the comment of how she really views you and Mila as role models mm. of just a great marriage. Oh, and, really? Yeah. Wow. And it was I was like, "That's really cool," and and it's so cool to hear that, you know, with all of everything you kind of went through in your background right. to say, you know what, I, I want it to be this Different. and you've made it right. that. Right, right. And you guys have an amazing relationship uh-huh. and your kids and your relationship with your kids. I'm yeah. like, Oh my gosh. I know. It's just, <laughs> that's it's the worst so, part of having a woman on here. I right? know. I, I can't that. interview. And that's why I stick to the, the <laughs> educational thing. I, yeah, although yeah, I'll cheer up on those two, but there, yeah. no, but really, um, so I didn't I, know that. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah. So I know that probably the next part of your story is going to be, uh, you know, you've kind of talked through like your childhood right, up through like right. high school. And yeah. then, uh, you know, we know that you joined um, the Navy and right. that's kind of when you met Mila. Right. And I don't know if you're ready to move on to that part. That's but if going, you actually, are, yeah. I mean, that yeah. it was such a great story to hear, oh, that's you cool. know, Thank um, you. Yeah. that part of it. And I think kind of like what you were saying, like you were saying, you were coming from the angle of this is how I don't want right, 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 right. to, you know, yeah. maybe treat my wife right, or whatever. Right. And um, or that kind of life, you and, know, like I said, yeah, or that whatever. kind of marriage. Yeah. Mar- yeah. 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 But yeah. you knew what you wanted of in terms of how you yeah. wanted to, And I feel you know, like, I feel like, like, I don't want it to be a negative thing, but I feel like that it's not like my, my 
parents did a bad no. job. That's the whole yes. thing. Is it like, it's like, okay, I didn't want it to be that way. Yeah. And so it's almost like I didn't want to be that way financially either. Yeah. So I so lots pushed of, through. Yeah, yeah, d- yeah. It was, whatever it was, it's, it's financially, whatever emotionally, through. whatever, yeah, yeah. you took that right. and said, okay, right. this is how I want it to right. be. And you, you've created it. And a lot, of people, a lot of people, um, and that's what I feel like is I want people to understand is it's not, it's not me. Like I am not special. You can literally do that. You just have to flip a switch. You have to be the one that says, I don't want to be that person. Yeah. I don't want to be the yeah. victim. I don't want to like rest yeah, on I my don't, Yeah, I, for my whole life, I for whatever. Be, I, I want to be the one that yeah. says, you know what? I changed something because generations will go on. Yeah. And if you don't keep that stuff working Absolutely. out, then it'll kind of fade out, right? Yeah. So it could change because you don't keep instilling that. Yeah, because um, you always hear that. You'll hear that where, right. uh, you know, somebody who maybe treats somebody a certain way, right. they were treated that way as a right. child. Right. And I think your story is just so amazing to me that, yeah. you know, you really made that like, no, this yeah. is how I am going to. Yeah. You know, That's proceed, awesome. and you've done it. You, yeah. You've succeeded. <laughs> I haven't arrived, but, I, uh, you know, until, you I, until I arrive at the pearly gates. But uh, Well, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> been, on my pearly gates, you arrived, and you have done an amazing <laughs> okay, job. And, and I I get to benefit from your later life <laughs> and all <laughs> yeah, the great things you've yeah. done. You know, I know. And she's your always kids like, hey, let's go swimming. Love let's your kids. Yeah, yeah. I know. Your pool. <laughs> yeah, let's have great. a good time, yeah. Yep. It's, it's exactly. always one of the two things. You want to know someone who owns a boat and a pool because oh. you don't have to pay for either We're, one. It, so of my all of my close friends, right. um, every one of them owns a pool <laughs> except for me. But I have the wine cellar. So, you right. know, we all Absolutely, got something yeah. to contribute. And I've yes. used – not only have I had your – parties in your wine cellar and drank your wine cellar. I've also had now three episodes. Yeah, in yeah. So thank you so much. <laughs> I know, right? It's uh, good stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But yeah, so. no, I, I, thank you so much for that. But I was going to bring up something during that part, but I do want to hit on, yeah, you, you brought up the Navy. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, here's what I want to know. I know you were in the Navy. Yeah. But how did you come to that? Okay, like, where so were you? you did not watch the, you did not watch the veterans episode. Oh, dang it. Okay, no, it's fine. I'm I have tell- watched a lot of them, but I, no, I don't I think I want to But she okay, was actually but maybe somebody pool. else has it and yeah. they want to hear. So let's let's no, recap. No, you're quoting them in the pool. Yes. Other episodes. Yes, so I, know I you have watched most of them, but, I, but you I have probably- got to watch that one for the comedy. Yes. Okay. It, it, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna watch that one too. Is like that one's yes. hilarious. Yeah. Okay. And someone actually messaged me and just said you draw so well off those two guys. It was okay, the best yes, episode, great. and they don't even know those guys. Because I at home, I'm watching it. Funny. Yes. Yeah. But so long story short is the same stepfather that I brought the whole time and the one with the, you know, the hard. Yeah, yeah. So we're sitting there and we had good times. I mean, that's what I'm saying. We, we would, I'm 19, I'm partying right with my stepfather. We're, we would drink and sit back in the house and, you know, I mean, I'd have a couple beers. So it wasn't yeah. like I was getting wrecked or anything, but I would definitely drink underage. Um, so one night we got drunk together and with my buddy, Kenny Knopp, and we're sitting there and that night... We got so, he goes, you guys are a bunch of pusses. He goes, I promise you, you should, you will not sign up for the Navy tomorrow. He was, oh an, Ar- he was an army veteran. He, he basically said to me, do not um, go, in, like, I promise you, you won't go in the Navy. You know, he was like, he swore to me that you're, you don't have enough balls to go in the Navy. And I'm like, what do you mean? You know, of course, we're 19. You know, I had nothing else going on. Oh, and by the way, I went to Vail and I, ta- right. I talked about that with Chaz. I went to Vail, Colorado and stayed for about a year. Uh, and then when I came back, he's like, you have no job, get a job yeah. or get out, right? Right, right, right? So me and my buddy were drinking. We're like, we promise you we'll go down tomorrow at the recruiter. So we wake up in the morning and he's like, uh, why aren't you at the recruiter? We're like, well, we just got up, man. We'll go, we'll go already. No thinking we would get in. Yes. Take a test, we get drafted. I mean, not drafted, we, or, we, we qualify. Yeah, you qualified, yeah. And we're like, I guess we're doing this shit. <laughs> and honestly, it saved my life. And no yeah. offense to anyone yeah. that stayed back, but I'm just, for me, it yeah, was the best personally. decision. Yes. yes. Because I wanted to find a way to get out of the town and not because of the town or the people. Because I always, had, no, I always had the yeah, dream. Yeah, I was going to say, sometimes it's good to get out of the only thing that you know. Correct. And even even if you come back to that later, like I know with my kids, yes. with Valley Center, you know, they're like, like I want to go see, blah, blah, blah. And, and then they come back broad, and they can but appreciate they're still it. Here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's right. good. That's that's what you want. And, and honestly, I had no, no uh, thoughts of not coming back. You're right. right. I just wanted to, you're like, you're like, okay, he said, go yeah. see Hawaii. Go, you're going to yeah. travel. I know. You're thinking, with the oh Navy. my gosh. I'm yeah. thinking, okay, four years, I'll do it. 
Right. So anyway, that's what I did. So because of a drunk moment with my stepfather <laughs> challenging me, again, he's always he was always challenging me. I don't think he even he may have known it, but I think he was just more being a hard ass. Yeah. But he didn't realize how much he changed yeah. the way I was. Right. Um, so I joined the Navy. Um, was in the Navy for, for four years. And if you watch the veterans episode, it was very, very descriptive of my life yeah. and how I yeah. was a, I was in the boiler room. Then I went up to the, the quartermaster and had a pretty good life for three and a half years because the first six months were terrible just because of my job description. Um, but ultimately, uh, that's kind of where things changed. You know, I went from a 19-year-old, I thought I was... Like, like I had all worked all those years yeah. and was super like Thinking driven. You were, but until all those that, guys then, beat you up like yeah. in the Navy boot camp, and back then it was still pretty hard. I mean, they all beat you. I mean, they beat you physically. This is like, before you. <laughs> now you can't do that, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> but I mean, but, they yeah, would I lay hands on you, yeah. but they would tell you go out and yeah. hold a almost like hazing, like a hold a wood, or something. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever, hold a wood yeah. gun over your head for an hour. Yeah. I yeah. want 400 push-ups, and they would have a guy counting. I mean, yeah. it was on pavement, hot. It was it was like, what did I just get myself right. into? Right. And so, long story short, is I only did four years in that time. Um, met my wife two years in. Um, basically realized at that point I was going to, you know, live here. I mean, we yeah. we met at a you know a bar, but it wasn't like a bar. It's it was a more great like a, story. Yeah. It wasn't a I bar. love the I mean, story. That's but, the thing. But yeah. you know, my timer went off. So oh. I should probably do the shot and then I can give you And then we'll story. give a little yeah. tidbit. Yeah. And I'm going to correct you if you're wrong because I've heard both sides oh. of the story. Well, I pretty much know the story. So unless my wife was lying, it better <laughs> be the same. No, what was fun was hearing the different perspectives. Yes, a woman's of, perspective yes, and a guy's perspective. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you both meshed, yeah. but it was really cute to yeah, hear Yeah, there was that. no, there was no yeah, differences, there was, but it was more like yes. the way she saw me and the way I saw her. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it, was awesome. it was really cute. Okay, well, here's, so. All right, so I brought this up earlier. <laughs> I swear, I don't realize that my wife likes whiskey as much as she does. <laughs> she loves whiskey. And it's not a, it's not like we, she doesn't drink it all the time, but my point is it's just like she really does appreciate yeah. the different flavors. Yeah. She actually... So this one we picked up at a store, and I George Dickel has like multiple. Is it Dickel? Dickel. That's yeah. it. Okay. Dickel. It's an interesting like name. I mean, like yeah, like Dickel. I know. Okay. I know. I'm, I'm not. I mean, I'm just saying. It's just kind of fun. So what's interesting? <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> we are we are on the six shot. Yes, so yes. Dickel just so sounds Dickel funny sounds to me funny. right now. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's funny. So okay. George Dickel actually has many different styles of whiskey, and to be honest, this is an affordable eight year uh, sour mash. Okay, so now, what does that mean, sour well, mash? Don't ask me. Look it up. <laughs> All I can tell you is it's eight years, and there's a 12-year, which was right next to okay. it. But we thought, you know, it's it's 20 bucks. Yeah. For a, and, and honestly, she cannot get away. Even though the small batch was her favorite, that's now her favorite. So, okay, here we go. Usually I like what Mila likes, so here we go. Now, okay. do you taste the difference in all these whiskeys? I actually can, okay. actually, um, which is amazing because, like we've said, I'm not yeah. a huge whiskey person, yeah. and it took me a long time to taste the difference in wines, which is what I'm more into. Yeah. But, um, you and your husband wrote you, a book. Yeah. yeah. So once you do, you taste those differences, you, you got it. But I have to say, I'm starting to get the whiskey mm -hmm. So vibe, after you finish but, that one, let me ask you something. Okay. Okay. So which one's your favorite tonight? Other than the sweet ones. Let's go with the four real whiskeys. The four real ones? Like um, the ones that aren't sweet. Yeah, I know here you're saying. Um, I would either say the crown apple. That's sweet. I said no on that. You um, can't pick that. You can either pick. Oh, I can't pick the Oh, I can't pick the sweet one. Okay. No. Okay, so which ones can I pick from? Tell me which the ones. The four harder ones. Doers, which I know is no. not the favorite. No. So, so I like that one. So Larceny or Dickel? Um, wow, that's good. Um. Uh, Dickel was actually really good. Okay. Um, I would say Dickel and um, I think small batch. Yeah, and honestly, those would be my pick. But now, granted, don't I mean I no, am I'm a, a limited. Guy. But you know what, that's good actually because that's if you're a limited whiskey, people want that sometimes yeah. because you're not that person that would be like, oh, I know the oak and the smoke. When and all we that wrote stuff. our wine book, um, we would have a blind tasting of wines. Of you know, it could be literally like a three dollar bottle all the way up to a fifty dollar bottle, and yeah. typically people picked in who, the middle, right? 
Yeah, mm. who didn't drink mm. a lot of wine would pick the least, the least. expensive yeah. because I they're remember. more sweet. Mm -hmm. And those ones that are more expensive are typically, um, you know, more robust and right, you've right, got right. a lot you, of flavors. You get that and flavor, you've got, yeah. yeah. But to them, and they're I, like, Ugh. Yeah, and yes. exactly. Uh -huh. So I could almost see that with whiskey. Yeah. Like, I'm an, uh, an amateur, so yeah. maybe I'm picking more mm -hmm. the sweeter ones or whatever. No, I, I think, don't know. But, I think you did yeah. a good job. Small yeah. batch is probably. Yeah. Uh, I like the dickle. I mean, me and her. <laughs> you like the dickle? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm on six, number six. But so, yeah. that, that, no, that was a, yeah, it wasn't I, even yeah, a joke. Right? That was real. I know, that was but funny. Just, I realized funny, I said yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So what were you, how we, how we talked, how we met. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So this is so, so cute. But okay. um, like I said, uh, when Ken and Mila met, he was in the mil he was in the Navy. Mm -hmm. And course in san diego mm -hmm. and it was really cute hearing both of their stories so yeah. he can tell his but i can i can add a little bit if we <laughs> so we don't to. have any more timers because the yeah. shots are over okay so all right shot, but so then we might not walk. because it's so, such an amazing um, story so yeah so ultimately um what we uh i don't know what i was gonna say i guess i was so this single. is year three at this point in navy no two two we had two okay. years i had two years left so I guess at the time I was single, obviously. Yeah. And I was kind of at a point where I was like, just dating, not dating, yeah. but just whatever. You whatever. Know, I'd go yeah. Out to the you bar. know. Yeah. And I wasn't sleeping around or anything. It wasn't like that. It was just more like I was trying to find. Yeah. I was always a hopeless romantic. Yeah. And me and my buddy Charlie Murphy, who uh, was mentioned, he's back in Texas now, but he was a hopeless romantic. So he's a little more extreme than I was. I just wanted my wife. And, you know, right. I was always that person that wanted to get married and be, have kids early. Right. So um, I guess when I found my wife, we were at Moose McGillicuddy's, which in if San you don't Diego. know in PB, yeah, it's not there yeah. anymore. Yeah. Uh, but it was there for a long time. It was very, it wasn't yeah, a that bar. Was, I don't want to, like I mean, the bar word sounds so bad because it sounds like it's a dive bar, but it was actually a very yeah, popular. Yeah, I mean, that was a, like a, a hot, hot spot. spot. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So we had a huge dance floor. What Long's, year are we talking? Let's uh, get a 1993. perspective. 1993. Uh, yeah. So we're going in. Me and my, it was me, Sean, uh, a couple of their buddies. It was, it was called Ladies Night. So on Thursday, you would always go to Ladies Night as I a guy it. because you would always. Well, of the course you go to in, Ladies Night because they get well, the free girls drinks got in or free. something. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. going to say. <laughs> so the girls got That's in That's always free. smart. Yeah. And, uh. I wasn't looking for anyone at that particular time. We just always wanted to dance and hook up. I mean, let's be honest. That's right. what you're about. Right. So we walk around, and in and, and the club, there was a dance floor in the middle. And then there was this ramp that went around, like, you know, like a perusing ramp. I mean, let's be honest. It was like a, a ramp where you check out the, the club. I mean, that, and there was an upstairs, too. But yeah. you would just circle around, and you right. would just do these circles if right. you're looking to see which chick you're going to hook up with. Right. So... Anyway, I went around and there was a tall volleyball player, which I didn't know at the time, but she was like six foot two. And then there was a, a, another girl who was a little shorter. And I saw the tall one and kept walking. And then as I kept walking, I just saw the other one. And neither one of them were my type. Right. So I just moved on. And my buddy at the time was with me and he elbowed and goes, hey, there was a third girl there. I don't know if you know, but she's looking at you. And I was like, I love this. what do you mean? I mean, she's like, I, I said, the tall one wasn't my style and the short one wasn't my style. And he goes, no, there was a third one. I promise you, she's looking at you. And so I looked over and I'm like, I did not see her at all. Right. And all of a sudden I see this little teeny blonde uh, kind this. of looking like up over the crowd. And I made eye contact with her yeah, and I looked yeah. at her and I was like, I did not see her. I swear to God, yeah, I yeah. did not see her only because the tall one, as I was looking at her like, holy shit, I kind of moved on to the other one. Mila was in the middle. Right. So I went from tall to the third one. Right, right. And neither one of them was style. So anyway, I was like, oh, she's cute. So then I progressed to basically, uh, at, like, kind of give her the eye signals. I was pretty yeah. good at that. I That's what she at, said. She I said, you guys made the, the yeah, eye yeah, contact yeah, yeah, across yeah, the... Yeah. Across the dance floor, it was or literally whatever. no. Yeah. It was a good thirty or forty yeah. feet, easy. Yeah. So I looked at her and I'm like, I gave her the old, "Hey, meet me over there at the bar." <laughs> so I, I kind of we that. like walk over. Uh, it, this is one hundred percent true. We walk over and we're kind of looking at each other, and then right as I'm about, to, I go to the bar to get like a drink, like playing it off. Yeah. Some tall bastard. No, like, he did like not. Looked like Big Bird. Oh no. No joke. Looked like a, a Big Bird character, six foot nine, like. 
out of shape. No offense, but he was like, do you want to dance to her? And I, I looked, and she looked at me, and I said, I shook my head no. Oh, I love this. That's the this. best I part. This is straight it's out so of Top Gun so right good. here. So I shook good. my head, I and I said, no, don't. And not like, don't, like, you know, the yeah, commanding way. I was no, like, no, I'm interested. Yeah. And she was like, but she looked at him, and he was, she was like, I'm sorry, I'm with someone. And she wasn't, of course, but right. she knew. I so the that. second he left, he was like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, yeah. second she left, I brought in, I brought a beer, and I said, you, you know, swooped do you in with dance? the beer. I said, do you want to dance? Ne- literally, we danced for two hours. The Dude, rest the rest is history. history. The rest, the is, rest history. is history. I we called got off everyone. Three that I beautiful ever children. Even yeah, yes, I, mean, I, 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 I love said, it. I'm, I'm in love. I'm sorry. I'm How out. did you not fall in love yeah. with Mila? She's yeah. amazing. She was, yeah. It was, a, oh and, and I don't know if you guys, well, you didn't see it, whoever's watching, but there was a post with when my buddy Charlie took our like dating pictures, huh. black and white. Oh, yeah. She was so cute. Oh. I'm like, who wouldn't fall Ooh. in love with that? And, and she still is to this day. No, I know, Super but it was cute. like looking at her, I'm like, oh, oh my God, I'm I so weird that to bring story. that back up so many it was years so ago. so cute. Yeah. I know. And when Mila told the story and just, you know, how they met, you yeah. know, how you guys yeah. met across the it dance is, floor and made real, eye contact. It's, it's a typical. Oh my gosh. But it, was it really like, was real. It was like yeah. a, it was like a Top Gun movie. <laughs> I was like, yeah. what? I, I, I just, just didn't sing because I have a terrible singing voice. But it was nothing like you and Alex with your wedding proposal while you're driving down the street, and he's like, "You want to get married?" I mean, I remember that. I'm like, today. "Yeah, okay." Sure. I'm like, I'm like, "Wait, so we engaged?" Yeah, you know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. There's so and many you, great engagement stories. I'm, so I'm always glad, like, "I'm so glad that Kent in, instilled that in you." <laughs> he said you were looking for that in the husband. No, my dad did not have a big engagement story. It was like, okay, I don't want to say, "Mom, if you're listening, I'm sorry," but it was more like. Uh, she's pregnant. We need to get married. You know oh, what I mean? Right, so right. yeah. So with you or no, oh, no, with my brother. Kent was older. That's right. Yeah, yeah. KJ. So you know they I'm had sorry, to. Kent's your dad. Yeah, KJ. Kent. Yeah, and they had to, um, you know, get married pretty yeah. quickly. But yeah, mom. It sorry. worked out. It worked out. Yeah. You no, know, fifty years later. Years. Yeah. yeah. So I do want to talk about the the wrap it up. Um, yeah. You know, I am happy. I mean, Tammy brings up this background um, it's and all that stuff. Yes. And I mean, um, I have worked hard. And, and um, there's no short of, of energy or effort. Yes. And I've been with the same company now for 20-some years. Yep. And they've treated me well. And it's been a tremendous ride. And my boys are 18. My daughter's 23 in December. Um, she's now engaged. And, and um, whole new chapter in your life. It is a whole new it's chapter. Whole new the chapter. boys are starting college yeah. uh, Monday. Yeah. Um, we want to yeah. We want to just – we honestly want to move to Mexico – and live with Tammy and Alex, but not with them. <laughs> Would that like, be fun? Oh no, my God, not with we them, do but like, yeah, like, no, I mean, seriously, I like, know what you're saying. It's we're I mean, in a whole different a, chapter in our life. Our kids are older. It's and a weird part of it your is life. Weird. It, really it is weird. It is weird. So if you're know, watching this video and you're 21 or 22, you will get there. You will. Um, you will get there. You but will. in the meantime, I just want to say thank you so much for listening. There's so much more to my story, but there's oh, only so gosh. much you can jam in. Yeah. And there's so much to every, every but story. But, Ken, the biggest thing, I think, if anybody's watching this and you're 21, 22, well, I, don't, I don't know, whatever, 15. like a younger, 15, yeah. hard work, you guys. It's not about school or not school. It's hard work. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter. You could go to college and not put the time in or, or not. You know, it's it. This is yeah. No, it's you real. put the hard work in. You're gonna. Yeah. You can you can achieve your your dreams and your goals and. Yeah. I'm certainly happy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. it, it it's it's a weird thing. I mean, it, it's it's weird how you and I's paths crossed, but I feel like, you know, when you get older and you realize who your friends are, you only yeah. end up with five or six. Yes. I got the five yes. or six. You friends. might have 800 friends on your Facebook, but when you when it comes down to the, yeah. you know, who are your friends? And uh, I agree. Yeah, who you, know, you, you who have get those to associate? Friends. Yeah, yeah. And the five and or six that I'm from the East Coast. Yeah. If I lived there, they would be my best yeah. friends. Yeah. They still connect with me, but out, I'm out here, and I've invited them. I mean, that's yeah. my whole goal is I want I want people to know that, you know, life is short. Yeah. And you it should is. live it up, and you should honestly be the best person you can be yep. at all times. I agree. So with totally that, agree. peace. Thank Love you, Ken. All. This was awesome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for having me. <laughs> all right. This see you.